Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin charts for you all here. I'm going to be giving you an update of the short position that I was in last video. This is still for $1.6 million, currently in around $84,000 profit. I'm going to be giving you the exact targets I'm looking for next on this trade, how I am managing this and really the most important levels that we have for the rest of the week to come. Here we are on a Monday. I'm going to be sharing with you exactly what I'm looking for on this week to come. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. You can learn from it. And hey, I think you understand by now. If you pay attention to what I'm telling you, if you pay attention to these levels, well, you can absolutely be smashing it along with me right now as I'm going to run this video in a three-parter. Part number one, I am going to pick up right where I left off that last video, explain the price action that's gone on since that video. OK, then I'm going to be moving on to what's happening now and what I'm looking at next for the rest of the week to come. So you're going to be getting my outlook and, you know, the targets for the rest of this short trade. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy. and Let's just get straight into it. As I said, I want to pick up right where I left off my last video. Simple as that. I obviously was in the short trade and we were in a triangle. And I want to draw your attention to a few things here. Of course, first of all, the triangle, we were we were ready for a fake out. OK, but if we didn't, then we know, you know, the levels to the downside. And I gave two key levels here, 16,525 and then 16,300. Please remember these levels. If you haven't watched this video, you can go back and watch it just to, you know, you can hear exactly what I'm saying. But I had two key levels to the downside, the MPC and the daily here. OK, and obviously I was saying I was in a short position. OK, I'm very much bearish on Bitcoin, not because I'm overall bearish on Bitcoin and I don't like the fundamentals. But, you know, I just understand I'm a trader. I know when to get in, when to get out. And overall, this market is, is currently in a bearish state and I'm, you know, trading with this trend. And you can see. That's the way to make money right now. No. Um, so there was a few things then that we had going on from here. OK, I want to just here is that triangle that we were looking at. And this was quite simply, um, you know, this was this was quite nice. <sighs> Obviously, when I'm doing these public videos, I'm a lot more precise with inside the group. And I hope you can appreciate that. These are pe people that are very focused and driven. And obviously they are paying members at the end of the day. So I'm very focused and concise. I tell my tell my team really simply in discord. I'm currently in this short trade, you know, I'm in this short trade, I'm looking for lower and my target, okay, it's, which is not yet here, is the CCB. Earlier in the day, we, we were given the CCB target, okay, and I'm, I'm, I think this is what people love. They love the confidence that I have in my trades. I'm really simply saying here, I'm in this short trade, I have got my targets for lower, I'm not going to close out of this short yet, there's only one way I'm going to close out of that, and that is if I get stopped. So you can see I'm coming in and telling my team with great confidence. This is the short, this is the target, and I'm staying in this trade unless I get stopped out. Okay, my target is lower. So, you know, <laughs> really simply, I gave the target of 16,525 just for a take profit. Okay, I do think we go lower, but my take profit is 16,525. And what we're talking about is later that, actually, no, you know, we're talking nearly 24 hours later, nearly 24 hours later, we come down and we hit that level to the absolute dollar the absolute dollar as you can see we had 16525 i've made it even more you know clear inside of my group that that's the exact take profit level 16525 and then what happened next we come down and we hit that we got the you know it's, it's a small fake out ladies and gentlemen but this was a fake out of the triangle okay you can see you come out of the triangle people that are looking at that trend line at this moment are going to be bearish and they're going to be shorting but that's not what we do here at chart champions we recognize that's the fake out of the triangle it is only a small fake out but nevertheless that is a fake out of the triangle OK, we have now broken that trend line. People are going to be getting bearish. And then what happens next? We get a bounce off that NPOC, the le exact level that we we're already waiting for, to the exact dollar for nearly a 2% bounce to the upside. OK, so I just want to just read you a few things here. And I just hopefully you really, truly appreciate the levels I'm sharing with you here because you can see for yourself the absolute power and precision that we have in this market right now. So step number one, how did this come about? This is for the educational reason so you can truly understand. Well, originally we obviously had the daily, I had this daily level that I gave to my group. Um, we were waiting, you know, two days for one of our dailies to be here. We finally hit it. We got the, obviously this gave our, our entry. We come up, we hit the daily level, then we got the pullback and we got the, we got the, um, you know, the pullback into the CC, which then you have the short position with a stop loss, you know, above the high. 
And then for me, it's as simple as that. I have the entry for my short trade and I tell all of my team the exact take profit level, which is 16,525. I've got to remain patient for that level, right? Then 16,525 gets hit to the exact dollar, as we can see, CC pool, that you can deny running that market. But you can see here, very much, you know, before that level was here, I was telling my team, come to that NPOC below us, okay, come to the NPOC, do you, do, you know, I was asked questions, do you still think we're actually going to go down and hit that NPOC? Some people were doubting that <laughs> we're going to come down, yeah, and I say to my team, no reason to think that we're not going to hit that NPOC yet, and I've got full confidence of the bearish uh, of the bearishness in this market okay we come down we hit that level to the exact dollar we start to get a bit of a bounce this is around when it was around 0.7 percent of a bounce okay but overall that bounce ended in nearly two percent bounce to the upside that's the fake out of the triangle that then would have come up and stopped a lot of people out because anybody that shorted here would have been stopped out on that subsequent rise to the upside but yeah, first of all, I just wanted to show you the power of the fake out of that triangle. Very small fake out, but nevertheless, it was a slight break off that trend line. Would have got people bearish. It hit onto the exact level dollar that we were waiting for, and we got a 2% bounce to the upside. Absolutely brilliant. And then what happened next? Well, let me just add on here the analysis. Okay, add back on here. And we can actually see the daily level then came into play. So if we come down here on a lower term time frame, <laughs> that daily level was lost. And here we got the bat test of that daily to the exact dollar. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. We hit the NPOC to the exact dollar for a bounce of 2%. In the end, on the secondary test, we lost that level and we ended up losing the daily. But here we were given a golden trade as we bat tested that daily to the exact dollar <laughs> come on this is crazy swing photo pattern of the last high into the daily level rejection to the exact dollar and then that gave another drop of 2.6 percent to the downside this is just absolutely amazing you you have to admit this is this is truly powerful information that i'm sharing here because the levels right now are absolutely fully respected to the exact dollar why did price bounce off of 16.5 to the five? You know, to the to this level because we gave that as the target. I suppose you could say it's helpful to be in a team of wells and have a market maker wanting to help you along the way, <laughs> right? I think you can. It's hard to deny that 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 is going to be helpful. If you you have to understand a few things here, right? The market liquidity at the moment is fairly low. You know, chart champions, CC Pool are the largest trading volume team period. Yeah, we are trading billions. We're moving billions. And so when you understand that, there's no surprise that our levels are respected to the exact dollar. Lost, bat tested to the exact dollar. We have a team of literally the largest trading team. <laughs> we are moving billions of volume. And on top of that, yeah, I mean, you, you got people that absolutely know what they're doing, giving you heads up. I think this is absolutely invaluable. Uh, but it was kind of funny. I was asked the question of, you know, I, you know, I agree with trading. Um, I agree with you when you say, you know, trade off the reaction. But uh, the game is a bit different for larger technical traders such as yourself. In other words, what are most market participants, you know, the small fish and what are the market makers doing? OK, how often do you find yourself creating an initial reaction? It's kind of funny because I was asked that question. And I, and my reply was, yeah, I can create a bit of a reaction here, especially on Bybit, of course. And um, then, you yeah, know, well, it was just kind of funny. 24 hours later, uh, you know, that came true. And we saw two levels hit to the exact dollar on the bat test on the NPOC. And, you know, here here we are currently sat at $88,000 profit off of that trade. And it's just a simple case of when we hit the NPOC, I actually took a scalp long trade. I uh, decided not to actually in the end take profit, but I did um, take the scalp long off the NPOC. That obviously moved up for around 2% and then obviously in, in the end got stopped out that long. Absolutely fine for me. Um, not in that trade anymore. We went down lower, didn't take anything off the daily, but I then did take another scalp off of the back test of the NPOC. That's obviously on the, on the tether pair. But the way that I trade this is I'm obviously trading on Bybit and the way that I use my chart is off of Bybit USD. And it's just, oh, yeah, the levels are amazing. So that's what I wanted to run you down through off of the last few days of price action. I know that was a little bit of a run through, but I truly think it was worth it. Um, why? Because first of all, you can, you can get into the mind of, um, you know, all I'm going to say is somebody that's trading very well right now. OK, love me or hate me. You cannot deny the fact that we are printing, printing and printing more money right now. 
Um, so you can get into my mind of how I was judging those levels, why I was giving these targets, how we, how those levels were absolutely fully well respected. OK, and now I want to move on to what I'm looking for next. OK, so we did actually have a very legit break of the uh, triangle in the end. Of course, we got the bit of a fake out, bit of a fake out. But in the end, we have broken down from this triangle. And you can kind of see here, OK, if we move, I'm just going to show you something that's a little bit interesting. When we move the trend line onto that low, we did get a back test of it as well. OK, into the CC. This was there been from that high. Oops, to the low, to this high. OK, we back test the CC here to pretty much the exact dollar and it was around the back test of that triangle zone. OK, but I prefer this original triangle pull. OK, I don't really adjust my trend lines, but that's just something that was a little bit interesting for me. But now we have broken this triangle. We can give a legit like kind of target for this. OK, and we're taking the length of that triangle. Oops, we're taking the length of that triangle to the breakout location. And we can see this gives a target of around fifteen thousand six hundred and fifty dollars more or less okay so this triangle target ha this triangle has broken down now okay this this is definitely broken down we have lost the npoc which at first obviously gave our reaction bit of a fake out stopped out the early shorts we then broke down fully back testing that daily to the exact dollar and now we still have another target to the downside which is around six fifteen thousand six hundred and fifty dollars this is a zone please don't take it as an exact dollar but we do have this zone where I would start to say this zone is obviously from this low, okay, of around 15,770 15, um, to here. So then we have this bit of a target zone here, okay. This would be our triangle slash swing fire pan target. And um, for me, the bigger target, and I mean really, really much the bigger target, is here around 15,300, okay. 15,300 for me is absolutely key. Um, this is a big, 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 big level for me, 15,300. Um, so, yeah, that's, for me, the bigger target down here. Okay. So, but for me, there's obviously, I uh, approach this market of understanding when there's a long opportunity, when there's a short opportunity. I am not a perma bear. I literally do believe in Bitcoin long term. Uh, why do I, you know, I, I truly believe in this asset long term. I do. Um, but me as a, even as a trader, right, as a trader, I'm in here to make money, period. I'll take longs, I'll take shorts. But even as somebody that fundamentally likes Bitcoin, I like to trade and short because I can accumulate even more Bitcoin, right? If I want to have a lot of Bitcoin, well, well by shorting the market, I am increasing my spot holdings because I'm making more Bitcoin, period. You know, over this trade, I've made another, you know, 5.5 Bitcoin in, you know, this is about three days. And, and this is not even my main account, by the way. This is the Chart Champions Challenge account, which has been going absolutely fire. But, um, you know, as a, I want to just say here, as a, as a, you know, as a proper trader, as a professional that comes in here and can extract money regularly from the market, um, you know, I understand I've got lower targets, but doesn't mean it has to be hit, right? I need to know where my invalidation is now. And the way I'm actually going to be approaching this is saying to myself, okay, this daily, OK, if we start to reclaim that as support, I do think we can get a bit of a short squeeze to the upside. You know, I wouldn't short where we are down here. This for me is not a short zone. You know, this is really late. You know, if you're shorting fifteen thousand nine hundred dollars, you're, you're, you're very late to the move. There's been a few short opportunities, which would have been the CC retest after losing the triangle. And it would have been the retest of the daily. Um, but shorting down here where we are right now is nothing. I would never, ever, ever do this. You're not going to see me shorting here. Why? Because we now have a local range to be trading where actually you can be looking for your longs at the local, local range low, shorts at the local range high. OK. And so for me, there would be another mini long opportunity where you have the mini range to be trading here. But you can really simply look for, you know, a play that just kind of goes like this, burn, trade this range and trade this range and trade this range. Okay. If we break that range to the downside, then we know we got our next level below us. And it's a similar again. If we break that range to the upside, okay, well I'd actually be looking at the first initial CC pull off of off of um, you know from the high to the low. I'll be looking for around there around sixteen five hundred. I know our volume is not going to be you know, our volume is very much down now at the lows. Yeah, but yeah, 15,500, 15, that's, that's the way I'd be approaching this now. So I think it's important to remember, um, you know, I, I openly say I'm very bearish. I've been, <laughs> I still have $69,000 shorts. You have to remember this. I have, um, period, like when, you know, I have shorts from $69,000. So I literally short the all-time high on Bitcoin. I, I, I think it's fair to say I've been one of the biggest bears in this space. You know, but even if you if you were following back from 
if you're following me back from you know 2018 i was one of the biggest bears that when we were back in 2018 calling for you know lower prices we obviously then it bottomed at three thousand dollars and you know i was very much bearish when we were up at around sixty thousand dollars as well and I, I still remain in all those short positions so um you know, I'm not a perma bear. I just like to trade. Uh, you know, I'm here to, at the end of the day to make money trading. And, um, you know, I can be fundamentally bullish on Bitcoin long term. And, and by me taking these short positions, I'm just making even more Bitcoin for when the bull market starts again. Right. So for me, that's that's the goal here to make as much Bitcoin as possible, because when that bull run turns around, you know, I'm going to be ready and waiting for it. Uh, but for now, yeah, remain with my bearish uh, bias. I've given you the exact levels that I'm looking for next. So I hope that that has been as of help to you. I hope that from that last video, you know, all I can say is this, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, you know, tick the notification bell so you get alerted as soon as the video goes live. Because if you had been alerted for this video, you could have actually made some very good trades. Exact dollars, exact dollars retests. These are the levels that are moving the market right now. We have the team of whales at Chart Champions along with a market maker. I mean, you've got everything that you need right now so yeah make sure you hit that notification bell you want to get these videos as soon as they're live i can i can tell you that because these levels are very well respected and that's how i'll end if you want to see more from myself and the team then obviously you can get that over at chartchampions.com we've got all the educational material here where you can come in here take the course and learn every single bit of information every single way that i trade is taught inside of the course so you've got the full course here we've got so much content so much content and then we obviously got the new speed run modules so you got all the education you got the live trading streams i mean shout out to the live traders this this absolutely insane um so you got live trading you got the education you got the live updates from from myself and the rest of the coaches as well daily live streams you've got so much to help you along the way, way help you along the way, <laughs> help you along the way. So if you want to get involved on that, if you really want to take this serious along with us, because this for us is, it is a, it is our passion. It is our love, but it is something that we take very professional and very serious. So if you want to be in on that, then you can do that over at chartchampions.com. I'm going to just end with that. Thank you ever so much. Hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed the video. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that like and notification bell so you don't miss another update. If you want to get more from us, you know, daily updates, um, then you can do that over from our website. So thank you ever so much. Hope you have a brilliant week ahead. Hope I've prepared you well. And uh, yeah, if you want to get more, check us over in the Discord. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. I'll end, of course, with the legal disclaimer. This is no financial advice. Do your own research at the end of the day on everything. And all trades are on paper demonstrated accounts. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.